and new developments today in the Brett Luckett Thompson case. A Denver jury finding him guilty of kidnapping and sexually assaulting an eight-year-old girl. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez at the Denver jail right now. And Lance, it's possible that Luckett Thompson will never be a free man again. Mike, that is possible. You know, it will be up to a judge to decide, but because Thompson, who is now here in the downtown jail, uh, was found guilty of sexual assault, the normal 16 to 48 year minimum sentence now becomes indeterminate to life. Well, I'm glad they convicted him. Neighbors who live near the alley where the girl was abducted reacting to the jury's guilty verdict. Brett Thompson smiling when he first showed up in court a year ago. He wasn't smiling today when the verdict was read. This was a hard case to hear uh, and deliberate on. Prosecutor Allison Rocker thanked the victim for her willingness to testify. Several people commented about the girl's strength and composure as she explained to jurors that she was abducted from this alley in West Denver and driven to a garage in Aurora where she was sexually assaulted. I couldn't agree more and she went through an awful thing and was able to stand up to the person that did it to her. The victim's family did not attend today's hearing. Neither did Thompson's foster mom or her brother. I spoke with the brother on the phone. Referring to Thompson, Robert Pagel said he basically threw his life away and will probably be in jail for the rest of his life. Pagel also said our main concern is for the young girl. We hope she can go on with her life and will be okay. Thompson faces possible life in prison. Sexual predators don't do well in prison, so, but I don't feel sorry for him. No, I don't. Now, I put in a request for a jailhouse interview with Brett Luckett Thompson. He declined that request. He is being ordered held without bond in the downtown jail until his sentencing date, which is scheduled for May 30th at 1.30 in the afternoon. In downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.